Welcome to the Average Joe. We'll take you where you need to go. There's plenty of excitement here, so come explore with us. We can always show you something new from theme parks to restaurant reviews. So join us at the Average Joe Florida. Hello, folks, and welcome to this episode of the Average Joe Florida. Come today from Disney Springs, specifically the Orange Garage. So it is a beautiful day here in early January. It's about 65 degrees. There is no humidity. The sun is out. And we couldn't ask for a better day. It's very nice. It's very nice. So we're gonna I did go bring Disney. my jacket, though. You did? Well, it's <laughs> chilly. It is winter here in Florida, so that's what you're going to get, you know? So uh, first off, we want to thank all of our new subscribers. So uh, it's been tremendous. We've had a nice influx of subscribers. If you're new to our channel, please stick around. We'll get some new videos up for you. Check out our historical videos we have out there and see what we do here and uh, hang around. So again, thank you for joining us. And let's go on into Disney Springs, shall we? Yeah, we're gonna go see if we can get um, a lunch reservation at the new... I don't know the name of it, Summer something. The new Summer so, something. It's really slow. It's around 1.30 on a, it was a Wednesday, right? And it's, everybody's at the parks. We had such a rainy couple of days that they're all at the theme parks. Yeah, yesterday was a bad storm. And Wind. The day before it was cloudy. And yeah, but it's nice today. But it's not bad. Oh, it's beautiful. These are the crowd levels we like, huh? It is. So we're going over to that new restaurant. I think it's called uh, Summer Dockside, I think. We'll check it out when we get over there. We're going to go to the cookie bar and check that out. And I see a little girl about to go into the fountain over there. We don't want that to happen. Oh, no. It's too cold for swimming in the fountain. <laughs> So let's go check out the new restaurant. We'll get the name of it over there and uh, check out the cookie bar. Disney Springs here, they have a truck. No, there's food trucks. This is the Little Words Project truck. And we all know what the, like the friendship bracelets are from Taylor Swift, the Swifty bracelets. Well, and they hide them around the parks too. People make them and hide them, although we can pick them up. But this actually is a truck of them selling them here. Magic. Yeah, this one says Dream. Dream. Magic. That's cool. A bunch of different ones. The dates, numbers, 13.1, that's for the miles of the race. Right, right, the races. 26.2. So yeah, these are, and I call them the Swifty bracelets, we close them, but they're, they're not hers, obviously, but it's the same logic, the same concept, and right. now there's a truck for them right here near the uh, Air Files balloon at Disney Springs is a truck that sells them. So it says connect to your community with your unique ID tag, live by the word's meaning, and then give them to somebody. And the price on them here is $25. That's 40. Oh, that's 40. They're all, oh, you're not this one 25. Is, is 25. Oh, so they're all different prices. All different so prices. This one? 25. 25. So 25 seems to be the lowest. How much is the black one right above it? The one a man would probably wear. 25. 20, okay, so 25 seems to be the lowest. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, after we didn't know the name three times, it's Summer House on the Lake, and it just opened a couple of weeks Ooh, ago. Yeah. And this replaces the old Bongos by Gloria Stefan restaurant. Right. It took them like four years to build this restaurant, a long time. But the lake is out there, so let's go check out the uh, menu and maybe we'll see if we can go here for lunch. Yeah. Let's go see. They have the heaters on to sit oh, outside, even right. would be nice. I wouldn't mind sitting outside. Nope. All right, here we go. They have availability, just walked up, so we're gonna go on in. Go over and see the host. There's the cookie bar, we'll check that out afterwards. Yes. And there's the awesome bar. Or it's up to you. You want to do outside, inside, whatever you prefer. If you're the one with the temperature, not me. I don't think whichever. Oh, they have a Yeti summer house cooler. Very nice summer house. They opened about a month ago. It's really nice in here. It's very bright. Very, very bright, isn't it? Yes. It it's impressive. And the menu seems fairly. Good usual. It's got a, yeah, a bunch of different things on it. It's Summer House on the Lake. Oh yeah, and there's seating outside in the back. You can see there's the seating outside in the back, as well as on the side, past a second bar. So there's two bars in here. So there is your menu. Feel free to pause the video. Warm edamame, potato salad, deviled eggs. <laughs> they have pizza, different pizzas on there, margarita. What's a hops pizza? Mozzarella, parmesan, tomato sauce. Shaved mushroom, spinach and kale. Mm, not a big fan of kale. The salads, they have a house salad, they have a shaved Brussels sprout salad. Never quite seen that before. Costa Mesa, kale, another kale salad, cashew, and a Buena Vista cob. They have sandwiches. Ta 
tacos, pasta, and summer comfort. All right, I think we're going to place an order and then we'll see what we get when the food finally comes. Yeah, I think if you sit outside, you get a beautiful view of a lake. I didn't realize that or I would have sat outside. Oh yeah, beautiful lake view in Saratoga Springs yeah. across the lake over there. That's okay, we'll sit there next time. So far the menu looks good, we'll see what the food is. At the bottom menu we see that most items can be repaired gluten free. It's pretty open with that, that's good. There's your southern summer comfort foods. Both got the cob salad, right? Both got the cob salad. So I wanted blue cheese dressing and they don't have blue cheese dressing. Right. So she offered to get me some ranch dressing yeah. and um, some blue cheese and we're going to make it blue cheese dressing. Well, there you go. And you wanted chicken on I got chicken added on mine, very easy to protein. That's some extra dressing. Now I don't eat blue cheese, so I asked for it on the side and I'm going to give you my blue cheese that would normally be on here. And we're good. And it looks really good, doesn't it? It does. You can't go wrong with a cob salad, right? All right, we'll dig in and let you know how it is on the other side. It's very good. Oh my goodness, yes. And yours? Oh, it's wonderful. It's absolutely, it's fantastic. It's huge. It's a big, good salad. Adding the chicken, perfect protein, really good. No yeah. complaints here. I love all the stuff they put in it. It's yeah. just, um, the bacon is like soft yeah. and warm, and I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's awesome. good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Our server came back, she said, I saw you were wrapping up, so she dropped off the summer house on the lake. Cookie menu, they have desserts and cookies. Warm gooey lemon butter cake, seven layer chocolate cake, chocolate peppermint pie, key lamb pie. And because we're gonna stop by the cookie bar when we're done here and take a look at it. And they have the special coffees. They have gluten-free chocolate chip too. Vegan snickerdoodle, fudge bomb. And they have something called the Let Us Entertain You Frequent Diner Club, like a frequent flyer club. Essentially, you get points each time you come for each dollar you spend. Mm -hmm. And those points can be applied towards a uh, discount on a future visit. So, let's see. You get points every dollar you spend at 100 plus Let Us Entertain You restaurants nationwide. So this is a 100 chain, 100 restaurant chain around the nation. And you get a $10 in dining for 150 points that you earn. There's an app for it. Let Us Entertain You. Here is the cookie bar. They have coffees and cookies. A nice seating area. I love this seating area. You just sit and have your coffee and your cookie right there. And they have nice seating outside. Yeah. Wrong way. <laughs> Maybe we get a cookie, go outside and eat it. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Old cups. Tumblers. Oh, and our app will get it. So they have that. We signed up for the app and you get points every dollar you spend. Oh. Maybe we'll get a chocolate chip cookie. You want a chocolate chip cookie? We'll go sit outside at the bar and eat it outside. Chocolate walnut, peanut butter. Wow, cream sickles. There's the double chocolate cloud. Birthday cake looks good. Oatmeal stachi. A pinky, and they have brownies in the back. Oh. They have a little lemon cookie. They look good. Oh, but that's the vegans that our server recommended the vegan snickerdoodle. She liked that one, she said. They have a gluten free chocolate chip cookie. Gluten free chocolate chip cookie. How are you? Good, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. This is awesome. Crispy rice chocolate chips, sea salt. Wow. Wow. And there's the cocktails, the zero proofs, and the coffee they have up there. Yeah, and that's their coffee list. We're Gideon's fans, you know that. So we're going to see what these cookies are like compared to Gideon's, of course. That is the chocolate chip. And that is the ginger snap. So we're gonna try them and compare them to Gideon's. I, I hate to say it, but I think I know who wins in the cookie war here. The chocolate chip, crispy on the outside, but it's got a nice soft inside, it's buttery. And the ginger snap, really good. Very gingery. Yeah, the flavor of this is and, it, and it's soft. It's mouthy. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, I love Gideon's, don't get me wrong. But this actually has a, a, a gooey, a gooey little to it. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft. 
Right there. You tried the ginger snap cookie, and you're right. The center is soft and chewy and spicy and sweet and everything at the same yeah. time. They're it's both. Very, it's very gingery. I, they both taste like, I really like it. Yeah. Really, really, really. That's a winner. They both taste like you're eating butter. I didn't know how to describe it. Like they're soft and chewy. Yeah, I mean, they're good. I think they're they're not giddy. It's a different kind of cookie, right. but they're just as good. Right, and you can get in and out of here in 30 oh, seconds. Oh, yeah, and you're in and out of the cookie bar right there. The summer house on the lake. <laughs> What did we think of our lunch at the summer house on the lake? It was great. Yeah, it was really I good. Love fresh food and it was fresh. That salad was the freshest salad I've ever had. It was really good. And it was good. good. It had a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, it had a lot, didn't it? It was, it was quite really, good. really good. I had the chicken protein of mine. It was really yeah. good. It was decent, so we enjoyed that. But I would definitely go back there again to try something Oh, out. yes. No we doubt. joined the club. Yep. We joined and, the Frequent uh, Flyer Club. Even when you get your cookie, you can also get reduce your, your club and uh, you get the points. So. Right. The cookie bar is awesome right there, too. Tons the cookies of seating. Are good. Yeah, cookies um, are good. Different. They're different no, than no, Gideon's. They're yeah. good. They're good. They're different than Gideon's. Yeah, different but They're style. good. Yeah, we like them In a lot. fact, I like this one better because I, I'm not a sweet eater and uh, Gideon's is so much chocolate and sweets in them. This one was sweet but good. So we would definitely go back to Summer House, no doubt. That's yes. for sure. Absolutely. Right across from Summer House is the Salt and Straw, which is that, I want to say, almost exotic ice cream place. It's an ice cream place with all the unique flavors. Let's show you the Salt and Straw menu where they have some unique things other than just ice cream here. So they have the standard, unique, classic flavors of Salt and Straw the uh, salty donut guava cheese, the uh, balsamic and black pepper, the strange flavors. But then they have the limited edition dairy free decadence series. I enjoy a good dairy free ice cream. Bananas, Foster, Pecan, Red Velvet Cake with Cream Cheese Frosting. Lots of good stuff there. Salt and Star, I always thought it was just ice cream, but they have dairy-free choices. Not bad. Yeah, look at that. It's impressive, and they have the unique classic flavors of regular ice cream. All right, Gideon's Bake Shop. There's the cakes. There's the key lime pie cake. That's the special of the month. That's the maple walnut. And that's the cinnamon roll cake with their giant cake slices. You know, we can't come to Disney Springs without going to Gideon's. Absolutely. Got to get cookies. They last forever, though. They're half-pound cookies. Zip them up and your little, uh, not shrink wrapper, but vacuum sealer. And they last. And passing through the flames at the point of sale. Stop by the Lego store. And I don't recall seeing this Mickey in hat before. That's a different looking Mickey. I don't recall that. That's cool. Very Lego-y. He's holding a weird looking wand. Maybe it's a balloon. <laughs> Where they normally have the, uh, whatever the motto of the season of merchandise is. It's play in the park right now is the season. They have some light up, we'll take balloon sippers. Just some general stuff. We're in the World of Disney store. We're gonna see what they have on clip. Oh! So they have the 100th anniversary merchandise still at World of Disney. And today is the 10th of January. And they have the 100th anniversary merch at 50% off, which is phenomenal, <laughs> if you know. So I'll show you some of this, but also other discounts apply. So if you're a DVC or annual pass holder, that's an additional 20% on top of that. Thank so. 50, then you get the 20 on top right, of that. Right, so we're about 62% off total, which is not right. bad. And that one is 348, and that's a nice one. That is at the I Dooney have the small one, but. Yeah, you have a different version of that very bag, the 100th anniversary yep. one. So if you're let's look that. over here. Yeah, I think there's more Disney merch over this way. That is the Tinkerbell statue we saw at Hollywood Studios a few months ago, and that as well will be 50 and 20 off. And more Disney have 50. Dress up Disney, uh, Mickey. Mini. They don't have Mickey. Is that Minnie or Mickey? What is that? That's Mickey. That is Mickey. Okay, I don't know the difference. <laughs> there is no Minnie. No Minnie. No Minnie. So it's a Mickey dress-up doll, 10 pieces, and again, it's 50% off. And this one is $39.99, and that'd be 50 and then if you had an annual pass, be another $20. Right. Ears and... Oh, that's a cool shirt. Children's, a lot of girl stuff. They have the dog collars in medium and large. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, cute. They have the 100th anniversary Crocs. They were a big hit during the 100th anniversary. Right. And they are $64.99. Oh, 
Everybody loves a good croc. Hats. Again, 50% off, all the hundreds. $29.99 for that. And then your 50 and your 20, 62%. And, and the water bottles, water we saw bottles. those all over. Oh, those bags are nice. The bags are nice. They are $44.99 for those bags. It's not bad. No, and they open up. Well, that's a lot of room in there. Here's those Tink statues, and they are 50% off, and there's the price, 95. So 50% off of 95 would be roughly $40, 40, yeah, forty-six dollars, forty-five dollars, somewhere around there. And they have my buddy, my friend Oswald. He again is fifty percent off, and then twenty percent off on top of that, so it makes a good deal. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Right. Black short sleeve tee, which we've seen a lot. And then on the back of that, they have Oswald's butt. butt. That's a bunny tail on the back. Thirty-four ninety-nine for the black one. And Oswald has the Disney one hundredth right on his foot, right there. He's stamped. And there's the long sleeve tee. $49.99. That makes that right around $22, $23. Crocs, that's the classic Mickey Maybe ornaments. For, not even Christmas. No, just, just put that on your desk. It looks pretty cool because it has the 100th anniversary thing on the top there above it. Right. Disneyland television show from back in the 60s. Here's my favorite. That's a Oswald statue. Almost thought it was metal. I'm not sure what it's made out of, whether it's a resin. I think it's resin, but it feels like metal. It's hardened. So cool, he's futuristic. He's going to go with the D23 Mickey that came out last year. He'll be perfect as a companion piece. Right there, and he is 110, but again, 50% off and then 20% off of that. Anything Disney 100, I like him a lot. Beach towel, right? Beach towels. Oh, that's cool, all the characters on the front. I like the 100th platinum look better than the 50th gold look. Well, here's the Disney Classic Street sign from the Burbank Studios. There you go, the Dopey Drive and Mickey Ave and everything on it. That's pretty cool, and it's just a, a paperweight, a desk, little desk knick-knack, it looks nice. Same look as the street sign out in Burbank. $69.99 minus your 50%. Yeah, and there's the tank we showed you inside the box. I saw the Mickey somewhere, I don't know if it's here or not. It's here. Oh, there's the Mickey down there. And there's the Oswald. Anything that's 100th Disney 100th, they're got marked down to 50% off. They want to move it out now. Good to know, so stop by new World year. of Disney. It's a new year, a new product coming in. So we enjoyed our time here at Disney Springs today. We had some lunch at the new summer restaurant, Summer Shores. Summer Sun House. Summer House, I'll never remember that restaurant. It was good, we'll go back again. Tried the new cookies, got a couple of Gideon's cookies. Very good, uh, we liked it a lot. We'll be back to that, yeah. we'll go back there. Very fresh food. Very fresh food, very, plenty of it. Um, cookies were good, yeah. service was Oh, excellent, great. servers are fantastic. Yep. And we didn't realize it's a chain. So you join their uh, frequent flyer club there and you get points uh, for dollars off your next visit. So it worked out well. And um, as well as um, the cookies, when you buy the cookies, you get the points there. Yep. Oh. And if you purchase, it's perfect. Right. It was right. a nice atmosphere. It's it got was. music, but it's not so loud that you can't no. talk. Pretty quiet, pretty decent in that regard. Yeah, and I liked it a lot. Yeah, we stopped at World of Disney, saw the stuff. That's a great deal when you take the 50%, you and then your annual the pass yeah. on top, so it's like 62% off, worth it. So, we you got pick some stuff. a couple items, nothing fancy, just a couple things you wanted. Uh, you don't want to pay full price, so you wait. This is a good time to wait. It worked out well. So, all right, folks, again, we thank our new subscribers. There's a lot of you out there. We appreciate yes. it, man. We, uh, we don't know what we did, but we sure do appreciate it. So thank you for that. Uh, stay with us. You know, new subscribers, come on board, help us out, share us on social media, uh, comment down below, hit that thumbs up button if you like we do, and we'll keep bringing you more content as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Check out our shorts too. We try to put shorts up as well. They're fun to watch. So, all right, folks, with that, take care, be safe, and remember, don't be average.